I know, I know, you've watched a ton of romance anime, but have you caught up with the new romance anime? Today we're going to talk about some new romance anime plus some sequels to some older romance anime that are going to get released this year. So strap your belts and let's get started. Number 10, Trapped in a Dating Sim. <laughs> Normally it's girls who get trapped in dating sims, so imagine my surprise when I hear about an anime where the boy gets trapped in a dating sim. I thought, hey, why not give it a watch? Surely there would be nothing weird. Turns out there was something weird. In this dating sim, the girls are the ones ruling the world. They sit on a round table and only beautiful and handsome men get to sit on the round table. Now, how can our average Joe win the hearts of these ladies? Well, turns out this guy has already played the game, so once he gets trapped trapped in it, he already knows all the tips and tricks he needs to rise up in ranks and sit among the ladies. By the way, this combines a lot of genres at once. Fantasy, romance, mecha, isekai, school, you name it. So in other words, this has a little something in it for everyone. Number 9, Love After World Domination. <laughs> You know this is that perfect enemies turning lovers anime I should add in one of my future videos, and this one takes that concept to the very extreme. Here our boy wants to achieve world peace, and the girl wants to control the world. Yeah, so it's more like a bad boy, good girl type of anime. But the truth is, these two are secret lovebirds. That's right, even though they kill each other in the public, they secretly have an affair in private. Now this is one of those romance slice of life anime. If you go to watch this anime, expecting something like League of the Galactic Heroes, then you'll be disappointed. But if you want a cute slice of life romance where two people kill each other and then love each other, then this is the show for you. Number 8, Love of Kill. Oh, Imagine what would happen if two main characters from the Assassin's Creed franchise fell in love with each other. Oh, and these two must be enemies. Oh, and it should happen in the modern world where you have guns, not poison blades. We've got one boy assassin falling in love with a girl who is also an assassin. Does this mean he's aiming a bullet for her heart? If you want to make it sound cheesy, then sure, yeah, why not? But the way love works here is different. Instead of sending our assassin girl gifts, our guy just sends her targets. Trust me, the way the relationship starts might throw some off, but if you endure that premise, you'll have a nice romance anime or an assassin anime. Number seven, a couple of cuckoos. <laughs> I think each season anime premises get way weirder. But remember Kanjo no Kanjo? Well, this year we got a couple of cuckoos. We have two characters who were switched at birth, Nagi Umino and Erika Mano. Once Nagi realizes that happened, he goes on to meet his real parents and finds Erika, a girl who asked him to be her fake boyfriend. Turns out her parents like this too. They agree to marry Nagi and Erika as a solution to the hospital switch. Like I said, I don't know who came up with this premise, but at least it hooked me up. Once you look at the posters, you can already know where this is heading, so go expecting more than one girl to earn the spotlight. It's being released on April 24th this month, so you'll have to wait a little bit longer to start watching it. Number 6, How Realist Hero Rebuilt the Kingdom. <laughs> Have you played Civilization games? Well, this is basically Civilization with waifu that looks like Saber. She looks so much like Saber, they decided to cut her hair in the new season because we all know cutting hair of anime girls is the new trend. If you need some realistic isekai, then you need a hero who's a realist. Anyone who watched the first season of this anime knows how well it combined the political elements of an isekai world with some nice romance and kingdom building. The second season also maintained the same hype by giving us more challenging political tasks, and adding more girls to the Infinity Gauntlet. We had a close contender for this anime called Genius Prince's Guide to Raising a Nation Out of Debt, but I think Realist Hero handled the political elements better. But I still like Nino from the other anime. Number 5, Science Fell in Love, So I Tried to Prove It. Mm. 
唾液を取り損ねすぎてしまって。検査結果が出るまでにはそれなりの時間がかかる This time we have science Don't worry You don't need your PhD to understand what's going on Because this time we're looking at love from the perspective of two scientists Science fell in love explores the scientific side of love in a really funny way Yeah, this anime is set around two scientists from Saitama University as they have made it their mission to try and solve the mystery of love If you want to be a scientist then it is compulsory to watch This anime because it shows you how crazy you can get if you try to dive into too much science, especially if the subject involves love. Season two of this show is coming this April, so make sure to be ready for it by watching the first season and studying a couple of science textbooks. Number four, Rent a Girlfriend, season two. Remember to rent a girlfriend? Remember Chizuru? Remember that pink haired girl who looked cute? Remember that blonde girl you wanted to punch in the face? Well, with all those sweet memories, the second season of this show is coming this spring, and it's no better time to give the first season a watch back again. Now, I know this isn't a particularly a new anime since we already got a first season and it became way too popular, but since the popularity has died down a bit, I thought to bring this up again. We all know how slow paced the manga is going. At this point, it will be my grandkids who will read the end of this manga. So ignore the manga and get ready for the rent a girlfriend experience because renting girlfriends isn't the only thing we're going to do this season. Number three, Data Live Season Four. <laughs> Dear God, this anime is finally coming back. Do you know how many times this got pushed around? First, it was supposed to be released in fall last season. Then it was pushed winter. Then it didn't have a release date, and it turns out it's finally getting released this spring. I'm pretty sure long term fans of this series might have read the light novel, but after seeing the pacing of the last episode in season three, but come on, we see Kurumi animated. That should give you enough motivation to start watching this show. Once again, we have our good boy Shido. Trying to save the world by dating girls. If he doesn't date these girls, or spirits, since that's what the anime likes to call them, the world will be destroyed. And this time, we don't have the Avengers, so it's one boy and one harem. Number two, Shikimori's Not Just a Cutie. <laughs> Each season, we get this best girl show. Last season, it was My Dress Up Darling, and turns out this time it's Shikimori's Not Just a Cutie. Rather than another popular girl falls for a shy, innocent introvert who has an existential crisis anime, this feels like a deconstruction of the perfect girlfriend trope. We've got a girl named Shikimori who looks like the perfect girlfriend anyone can have, but turns out she has a really dark side once you press the wrong buttons. But guess what? Her boyfriend loves it. Yeah, this is one of those animes where the girl and the boy start dating early so we don't have to go through that getting to know the Sundre melodrama again. And trust me, Shikimori is going to be the best girl of this season. Consider that as my prophecy. Number one, my dress up darling. Oh, <laughs> This show has been topped a lot of my lists lately, so I should stop adding this anime. But when speaking about romance anime, you definitely cannot ignore this masterpiece. Sure, it doesn't do anything innovative, but it knows how to make you feel wholesome and turn you into another Marin simp. But the reason why this show shines is because of its characters. The characters are built from the usual tropes with a shy guy and overpopular girl, but the more we see their lives, the more we see how different they are. I mean, come on. When was the The last time you saw an anime guy who wants to be a doll artisan. The show also speaks about how you shouldn't give up your passion just because society sees you differently. And come on, we all know Marin is the best girl. Putting this anime on a different spot is a clear disrespect for her. 